For this project, this will be the only component I'm going to use to build my coffee machine. I'm talking about the piston and the cylinder that I took apart from an old motorbike. I used this motor for about 5 or 6 years and you can see them that all the parts are a little bit dirty and covered of burnt gas or burnt oil. So it's very important to remove all this dirt and I will use a specific product to do this. I, first I will remove all the burr parts and after I will disinfect the parts because I want to drink coffee that isn't contaminated from uh, gas or oil. So use a, hard, a very hard brush, take your time and I have to clean the aluminum so it is all shiny and smooth. Do the same thing also for inside the cylinder of the motor and this will be the result. My idea is to connect this. This is a classic arm used usually in classic coffee machine and this is where coffee powder goes inside and then from the top will come the hot water. I will modify this part so that I can connect it on the bottom of the motor. So my idea is to connect it over here. So the first thing I need to do is to measure the parts and unfortunately the piece, the cylinder of the motor is a little bit small. So my the, the first thing I will do is remove the arm that is on the side. This is the original arm where hot water goes inside the coffee powder. So cut away everything, make it all smooth and this is what I got. The hole that is on top is now the new hole where hot water can go inside and I have to also make the hole larger from the cylinder. The cylinder isn't in aluminium, it's in like in steel or something like this. It's very hard to cut it, with, but with my tungsten on tool isn't a problem and in a couple minutes I enlarge the hole just enough so that the two parts can fit perfectly. As you can see that now the hole is larger here on the base and the coffee part uh, of the original machine can fit perfectly on top. It's also a very good idea to seal the, the, the parts with a little bit of silicone, non-toxic silicone is very important so that it, we have a very uh, tight fit and water cannot leak out. I also mark three holes on top where I can secure three little screws on top and my idea now is to drill holes in the aluminum of the head of the motor so a very small drill bit is used to do this so I just go inside just I don't know like a centimeter this will be enough to also secure screw on, on the holes I tap the holes with a with, with a threadener I can thread holes with this and this is enough to secure the parts with three, three very little screws that can go in, inside the part of the original coffee machine and I can secure them very hard. Now I made another component. The, I'm talking about a very simple copper tube uh, that I bend like 90 degrees and also this that will, will be used to pour hot water inside the coffee machine. So my idea is to connect a copper tube here on the side of the motor so I made a hole that's, that have the same dimension of the copper tube and I can then fit the parts together and secure them with a little bit of epoxy glue so we don't have water leaks. As you can see this is the result and this will be the inlet for the hot water. Now let's take a, a wood board and make the base of the coffee machine. I took this stainless steel component, this was something unthinkable, this was like a base of a lamp from the IKEA. I will mark the shape of this component and then cut it away. This will be like a base where I can put a coffee cup and then pour coffee, hot coffee inside. I will use a vibrating saw to cut the wood. And in this case, I, I, did, I, I realized that the wood is very hard and start to heat up and smoke. But this doesn't stop my, my project and after 5 minutes, this is the result. A couple of very hard hits and the wood goes away. It comes out a very precise fit, so precise that the stainless steel component will snap there and isn't necessary to glue it inside or secure it with other screws. This is how it looks like. Now let's think away how to mount vertically all the components so the real coffee machine. 
I cut a piece of wood and now insert two very long screws in the two existing holes of the, co of the motor. Two little aluminum tubes will be spacers that will be placed on the side and in this case the wood is so hard that I can thread and secure the, the screws inside the wood. So hard that everything stays perfectly in place. I also secure with two long screw, wood screw on the base and put some wood glue to secure and oil everything. Now let's make the last modification. I'm talking about the piston, I will make like a lever so that I can compress the, the piston. It works like this. So we have the water that goes inside the cylinder and then the piston will compress the water down and the only piece will be my push for the water. Now let's make something to exercise a lot of a much higher force. So I took a lever, this is a stainless steel lever and like a U-shaped uh, bolt. This goes inside the two existing holes of the motor. I'm very lucky, all the components goes together uh, very precisely. And now the, I only need to make a hole through the lever and through the piston. And now the things move together. And finally, after all this work, it's time to taste the coffee. I can tell from the color that it's quite hard that also the taste of the coffee will be strong. So let me taste. I've messed a bit of sugar because I like the sweet things, and so let's see what taste it has. Mmm, good. Wow, yes, it's very nice. Yeah, I put a lot of sugar, so it's quite sweet, but. The strange thing is also that it's a little bit creamy in the coffee, so I, I love it very much. But it's very interesting this coffee machine because you can use them in two different ways. The first time you can push simple water through the coffee, pow through the coffee powder, but then you can instead pull up the lever and so we have instead of water we have just air inside the, the cylinder now we can then compress air because the piston is so uh, precisely tied inside the cylinder that we can compress air so once we compress air we have only the air that is pushing through the coffee powder and this time happens something very interesting the air passed through the coffee powder and then goes outside and this will eliminate all the um, humidity that is inside the coffee powder so that we can get a much stronger coffee so you can make coffee two times so you can see that compressed air you can hear the, the noise of the air so hear it very very well you can hear the air compressing so the air passed through the, the coffee powder and eliminate all the a little bit humidity that is inside so we can have a double coffee it's very strong and very very tasty so this is how my coffee machine works I decided to use a motor because I love to recycle parts it's very important to clean up the motor very well every component has to be washed a few times because I don't want to drink coffee that tastes like oil or gas, gasoline 
So, this is my project, hope you enjoy it. This was uh, my first version of my coffee machine. This is a coffee machine that works with vacuum and is made with light bulbs. So, if you're interested to see also this video, I will leave you the video link here. So, check it out. I don't know why YouTube is trying to destroy my channel. So, please leave a thumbs up. This helps a lot my channel. And check my video. Ciao, ciao.